And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Chief Ludes, and I'm back with another video, another pack opening to be specific. So today we're going to be opening the Season 3 Jason Richardson packs. Jason Richardson honestly might be one of the best cards in this game, and I don't think anyone's even going to talk about him because he's not like named LeBron or something. Either way, before we get started, please do like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. Help me out. We on the road to, uh, I'm going to do generic YouTube stuff and say we're on the road to like uh, 2.5 million subscribers, even though I have like 900, so. Anyways, Jason Richardson, like I said, should be f honestly fucking awesome. I, Jason Richardson is usually one of the better cards in 2K, and he's usually pretty slept on. Um, looks like the guys from the first set are in here, like Juwan Howard, Mo Williams, and Larry Sanders, who's... Honestly, one of the best handling centers in the game. John Starks is in here. Shout out to all my Knicks fans that are really hyped about John Starks, all four of you. Um, Del Curry's out here. I like Del Curry a lot. Juwan Howard should be down in price by quite a bit, so that's something to uh, definitely take note of. Um, also, shout out to uh, all 800 of you guys that jumped in my comments on my last pack opening and told me that my audio was off. Trust me, I was aware after the fifth one of you. Um, hopefully this one's better. My audio software has been giving me trouble, so. Del Curry should be honestly pretty good, but I feel like he's still going to be going for, like, 15k, so I don't think he'll really be worth it. Paul Silas, if he goes to a certain budget price, like that 2-3k range, um, he might actually be one of the better budget small forward options, uh, well, power forward options in the game. He is 6'7", but he's got, like, a 7'1 or 7'2 wingspan, so he actually has long arms, so he can play the position even though he's a little bit shorter. But without further ado, let's open some packs, man. I think we got something off the rip here. Ooh hoo hoo. It's Jason Richardson. This is going to be a short pack opening because I am not opening a single other pack after that. Ooh, gold pogo. And it's not. All right. It's either Mo Williams or... What was the other one? Del Curry? The Splash Father? Let's run it. Who is it? Del Curry. Okay. Yeah, I'll take Del Curry. I mean, he's got gold range extender. He's got some decent shooting badges. He has a weird jump shot that I'm not sure if it's actually good or not. Comment down below if you want a Del Curry gameplay video. Uh, I guess I'll do one if people want it. So let's open another pack. We're going to go down to like, I don't know, 700K or something. I don't care. Uh, what do we got? Paul Silas. Okay, we're two for two on Season of Giving Cards. So it, it is what it is, man. You can't ask for much more. 3%? That's eh, better than 2%, so... At least they up the fucking percentage rates, even though that's pretty awful. But, <laughs> whatever, it's cool. Malcolm Brogdon, nice. Quick sell, all that. I love current gen, because you can't even tell what fucking playbook those are. Like, it's a Bulls playbook. It's a 94, or 94. It's a 97, it's a 98, it's a 91, who knows. Uh, Trey Young, nice, okay. Quick sell, Trey Young don't give me shit. I know usually like I sit there and try to like get like 700 X or XP, 700 MT for it, but I'm just not feeling it today. Plus my auction house is really, really full with stuff. Paul Silas, what up dog? Okay, so I got two Paul Silas's, which is not a big deal. Um, looks like, it looks like those guys are starting to drop a little bit more, um, which is kind of cool to be honest with you. I'm about to spend so much MT, oh, here we go. What do we got? Uh, dude, that's the ugliest fucking shoe. Uh, another Amethyst. Who is it? Is it another Del Curry or is it another Mo Williams? What do we get? Eastern Conference. I think it's Mo or no, Yeah, it's Del Curry. I was going to say, I think it's Del again. Look at him looking smooth out here. Del Curry is usually at least good in-game. So, uh, I don't know if he'll be like a somebody that you would put onto your team you know somebody that you would run consistently but it's definitely a good sniper card and if he goes for a cheap enough price which his last name's curry so he probably won't um i think he'd be decent what up troy brown jr i'll you know what i'll get more than 550 for you so fuck it come through 75 mt so we're down to 70 or wait 765,000. dude i'm so tired today <laughs> what do we got Another Amethyst. Motherfucker, dude. This is like the third or fourth Amethyst I think I've gotten already, which is kind of annoying. 
at least I'm gonna get at least some of my MT back or most of my MT back. Um, that's pretty solid because I feel like some of these Amethyst guys. Well, Mo Williams is probably only eight or nine K because he was just in last week's packs too. So, um, but I feel like all the Jason Richardson pack guys will at least be like over 10 K because they're gonna be pretty rare as far as getting them. I don't predict a lot of these people are gonna be opening these packs, especially because most people hemorrhaged all their. MT and VC in the uh, 2K weekend extravaganza, so I'm thinking maybe that that bodes well for me. <laughs> yeah, I put on my boy Big Blake. You can never have enough contracts on Blake Griffin, dude. Alright, yeah, we're gonna open some more packs. I'll, I'll go down some more. It's fine. I'll go down to like... I say I'm gonna go down to 700,000, but I know damn well that I'm gonna sit there and be like, you know what? Let me open just one more. I got a gold tireless. So that's cool. Um... By the way, a little little tip here is we do have a qualifier for 250k coming up. So, I wouldn't sell any of your badges until then. Another fucking Amethyst, dude. Seriously, is this going to be another Del Curry? I mean, Del Curry should be going over 10k, so I'm at least getting my MT back on every pack by opening it. So, wait, no. This is LeBron. Alright, um, I think LeBron's still going for 7 or 8k. I'll have to check at the end of the video just to see exactly what he's going for, but... I think he's still going for at least that, so. It, my, my big thing is when I'm opening packs is making sure I'm at least getting my MT back on some of these packs, you know? Yeah, give my boy McGrady. Shout out Trace McGrady, I love that card still. I know he's, yeah, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, guys, comment down below if you want me to start my tier list. I have them all ready, I just haven't had time to start them, so I think today might be the day where I start um the, with point guards possibly shooting guards today so comment down below if that's something you want um i'm definitely going to do it at some point i just don't want to wait too far into the season it is december 1st i usually do them after or at the end or beginning of every month i usually do them so yo what up john wall not exactly great but it is what it is i don't think any of this stuff goes for i tried to sell the spurs playbook like five times the other day and like no one wanted to buy it and truly it's one of the best playbooks in this game i don't care what anyone says all right, so far, um, this pack opening is not good. I got Brad Wanamaker, so maybe my luck's going in the other direction here. But, I mean, realistically, there's two diamonds and a pink diamond, so if, you don't, if you're not pulling them, the pack opening's ass. Uh-oh, we got a little something-something. No, we didn't. That was a glitch for a ruby. Got another Paul Silas, whatever. That's my pack. That's my empty back for the pack, so it's cool. But, yeah, um... I'm not liking these packs so far. I mean, the odds are low. And I swear to God, I've been saying it all year long. I truly believe that regardless what 2K puts on the little pack thing on the outside, your odds are better using MT when, or using VC over MT. I swear to God they are. Um, maybe it's just because you're opening more of them in rapid fire succession, but I swear that VC bought packs have better odds than MT bought packs. That's just me. 2k prove me wrong like fucking prove me wrong please let me draw like a pink diamond out of an mt pack please i mean i did wait i'm pretty sure i drew that lebron out of an mt pack prove me wrong again 2k please do it again i, I would enjoy that quite a bit it'd be fucking awesome but you guys won't because you suck so far uh not so good with the packs today i mean i've gotten a decent amount of amethyst and stuff so i'll still make like a pretty oh i got pro touch bronze I'll make a decent of my MT back, and I've been drawing, like, good badge cards, and at least when I'm drawing non-Amethyst, um, I'm at least getting, like, gold and silver, so I'll make a little bit of MT back, so all in all, this back opening's not gonna be a huge loss, but at the same time, like, I would have liked, oh, Silver Intimidator, that's a good quick 15 or so, okay. Alright. That's, per yeah, it's perfectly fine. I'll definitely go and keep opening packs that's that's good we're at 645 i should probably stop but uh i have a problem so let's open another one what do we got give me something good it's not even an amethyst i got a mavericks ornament ball oh my god all right yeah that's that's it my looks i'm gonna have to chill out for like 20 minutes maybe i'll go back open another pack or something let's see what everything's going for as of right now uh damn dude this lock-in is fucking huge man Jason Richardson. Oh, uh, you know what? Surprisingly, he's not... Yeah, not a lot of them are being pulled for sure. Bro, can you guys stop putting unlimited shoes on the cards that you auction? I promise at this stage in the game, you're just wasting MT. 
the cards are going to go for what they go for anyway. Putting that diamond shoe or that diamond contract, you might fool one person. Maybe. But for the most part, you're not fooling anybody. Stop putting them on there, I swear. Wait for the opals and stuff. Like, nobody want, nobody cares if there's a three-point shoe on a pink diamond Jason Richardson at this stage in the game. You'd be better off trying to sell that three-point shoe for, like, 15, 20K MT on the marketplace by itself and then putting Jason Richardson up. You're probably getting the same. Possibly you're getting 10,000 less MT, and then you're getting, like, obviously 15 or 20 for the shoe separate. So I just don't think it's worth it, especially now with diamond contracts. Um, no, because I just bought... Yeah, no, it's not worth it. Del Curry's solid, actually, as far as price goes. Damn. I better go and sell my Del Curry now, just because. So here's a here's a tip. When you open packs and you do pull, like, the Amethyst and the Rubies, especially if you're opening them right when the packs drop at, like, 10 a.m., like I am, it's always best to just go sell them right away because their price will literally drop by either you know somewhere between 30 to 50 percent um usually by around 7 p.m central time which you know i'm sorry that's central u.s time so wherever you are at that point so you know just think eight hours from right now um just because in, in the u.s that's when everyone gets off work and school all across the country so um, especially like that West Coast market gets off of work at school right around then. And that's just the maximum amount of people opening packs. So all of the prices will be down by about half at that point. So never buy cards um, during the middle of the day when packs come out. Always wait till night because the packs are going to be significantly more prevalent and the cards will be cheaper by legitimately almost 50% by that point. So never buy cards right this second unless they're an old card then you're fine um, when it comes to old cards there's just less people on the auction so this is actually a very good time to buy like you know if you were going for say kevin durant right now now would be the time to do it that or at like 2 3 a.m central time the reason for that there's just less people on the marketplace and less people in general um, to bid against you so you'll be able to pick up cards for a lot cheaper than you will around like dinner time us you know that's just one thing I always tell people. Wow, Paul Silas is going for a lot. Same with Rubies, too. Rubies are the best ones to sell because, like, literally, Paul Silas is going for what? Like, way too much right now? I can't remember. Hold on. Uh, it was, I think, like, 9 something, right? 10 something, I think. Fuck it. I'm going to throw it up for, like, 11.5. Yeah, it's fine. But, like, I can sell them for 11.5, and I guarantee by later today, um, I'll be able to pick them back up for at the absolute most, like, 6K. Like, that's at the most. And I think he drops down to probably three or four at some point. So you can always sell all your stuff off right now and then come back and actually pick those cards up if you're a collector and make like a five or six KMT profit. But that is only if you um, are opening packs immediately when they come out and you get them up quick. Bam, bam. Uh, Mo Williams is probably going for like eight or nine K, like I said. So he's probably not. He's actually pretty good. If he drops down to like three or four K, He's actually a really good budget point guard option. I'm not a huge fan of him. I just personally I don't like his jump shot that much. Um, and his just overall play style isn't really what I like. But Mo Williams, I can respect him. He's really, really good. I think it's definitely worthwhile to go check him out. Um, with that being said, though, guys, thanks for watching the video. And I wanted to do a special shout out to everyone who has uh, subscribed to the channel over the last couple days. Um, it's been huge, man. Since, like, last Monday, we've gotten, like, 100 subscribers, and that's, like, hugely cool um, and also kind of unexpected. So I appreciate everyone who subscribed to the channel. Um, other than that, if you want more of my stuff, hell yeah. See, I already sold Paul Silas and Del Curry's for... <laughs> I just made 50K MT, just chilling. Um, but all my stuff's in the description, uh, so go check that out. My Patreon, if you want to support the channel at all, help me out, keep my lights on, that'd be cool. Um... You know, my podcast link, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter's in there as well. Um, I mean, other than that, I'll be back with a uh, couple videos today. Um, like I said, if you want that Del Curry video, jump in the comments down below. Other than that, I'm going to be putting out my first tier list for last season. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate every single one of you guys.